my channel so in today's video I have filmed this look right here something really simple yet glam for the summer I did a poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys if you wanted to see this or if you wanted to see me glam up my gay best friend um, and it was a 50-50 shot so I decided to film this first I will be filming that with him this week as well so you should be seeing that very very soon but I went ahead and um, I filmed this look for you guys. Throughout the video, once it starts, you will see that my eyebrows are done. I did do that off camera just because I don't think there's anything fun about that. But if you guys do want me to include um, me doing my brows in my videos, let me know in the comments below. This look is fairly easy. I only used two shades in my um, lid. When it comes to like summer, I don't like to glam up too much even though this is pretty extra um, because I did add some falsies as well. But you don't have to add falsies if you don't want to. I'm just extra like that and I did it for the purpose of the video as well. So keep that in mind. And yeah, if you guys want to learn how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so I'm starting off by moisturizing my face. I'm using the Dual Action Moisturizer by Clean and Clear. As per usual, you guys know I love this so much. Um, I just like to put two pumps into my hand and rub this all over my face evenly as you see right here. I also love how inexpensive this is. You can get this at the drugstore. I believe it's about $4, so it's really good. Now I'm going in with the Smashbox Primer Water. I love this so much. Um, I remember when I would see Casey Holmes raving about this product so much. And I do love it. It just makes me feel really refreshed and um, just a great primer overall. Now I'm going in with, with the YSL All Hours Foundation. You don't have to use such an expensive foundation since this is a summer look. But I do like a full coverage so that's why I went for this foundation in particular. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender um, that I actually got at Target. It was $7 but it's awesome. I've been loving it so much and it just distributes the product um, evenly as you can see right here. So I really do enjoy this um, sponge from her. So I'm just trying to get an even layer all over my skin, get the ears under my jaw um, just so there's no difference in skin tone from your neck and your face. Next I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape and this is no surprise. I've been using this for quite some time. I haven't been using any other concealer if I'm being honest. I've just stuck to this. This has been my tried and true. Love it so much. Full coverage and um, I have to actually buy another one because this one is sometimes too light for me. But yeah, I really do enjoy this concealer. If you guys have any other recommendations of any other concealers, please leave it in the comment below because I am trying to reach out and branch out to other concealers so I'm just using that same Sonia Kashuk um, sponge to blend that out as well as I did previously with the foundation now I'm taking the peach perfect from Too Faced as you can see I'm obsessed with this powder I've recommended to all of my friends about this powder because I love it so so much it just leaves you such an airbrushed and flawless finish to your skin I love it love it love it um, I do like a matte finish sometimes but this under the eyes and all over my face actually is just so beautiful now I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, this smells like paradise. I swear to God, if you go pick this up, smell it, and you're going to be in love with the smell. Um, for summer looks, I don't like to go in with my original contouring, and I use the Kat Von D to contour. I just like to bronze my face a little bit. I don't like to put too much product on my skin, even though it looks like I am putting a lot of product but I just like to bronze and with this one it's also a drugstore product so very inexpensive as well 
Now I'm going in with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the blush and highlight palette. I like to use that middle shade I'm showing you guys right there. And I'm going in with an E4 Morphe brush to apply this. This has been my favorite blush brush thus far. I love it. It just gives you an even layer of the blush. So, yes. Now I'm going in with that Morphe M501 brush. This has been the best highlighter brush ever in my opinion i just like to spritz that with a little bit of that smashbox um primer water and i go in and mix both champagne pop and prosecco pop i think is the name of it and both of them together just give a beautiful beautiful glow i do this at the tops of my cheeks um a little bit on the forehead and on my nose as well i love that nose highlight so now I'm going to go back with that primer water, spritz my face all over again, and you guys will see now why I am doing this. This is just going to help to intensify that highlight. So I go back in with that same highlight and I retouch it. Now, as you guys can tell on camera, I picked it up pretty good how intense the highlight actually is. So I like to do that just so I look extra glowy. Now I'm going to be doing the eyes. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette to do this. I'm only using two shades from this palette. This one I'm pointing out right now just for the transition shade. And I'm using a gold, pal a gold palette. Oh my god. Uh, a gold shade as well from that same palette for the lid. And those are the only shades I am going to be using for this look. You won't see me applying that gold shade because I don't know what happened with my camera. I kind of cut that off but you will see um, the gold shade once I have the lashes on and everything. I think these colors blend so nicely as well. So that's the gold shade right there. Okay, now here I had already applied the lashes and I lined the top of my lash line with some black liner. Here I'm just removing that foundation from my lips so I'm able to apply the lipstick using the KKW um, lipstick in shade number 5. I am obsessed with this nude color. It's so, so pretty, and I think that it goes with a lot of skin tones. On top for a gloss, I'm just using that lip injection um, from Too Faced. I don't really think it makes much of a difference to your lips, but I do like the glossy effect it gives my lips. To finish off, I'm just going to take that Mario Badesco spray and spritz my face. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.